Hello, welcome to Texture Mit. In the last session of this series, we discussed about the installation of ACS or Access Client solution. Okay, so now in this session, we will see like how we can configure this ACS or Access Client solution. So once you install your application, you will get these two shortcuts on your screen. And after that, you have to click on this Access Client solution icon. And once you click on this, you will reach to this screen. Okay. After that, to set up or to configure your environment or development environment, you have to click on this uh, 5250 session manager that comes under the management block. So just click on this. Once you click on this, uh, you will see uh, this kind of pop up or a screen. Here you have to uh, go or and select the option new display session. So just click on this and once you click on this you will get this screen or form where you have to put uh, firstly you have to put your session name that is uh, by default it is come as a 5250 display you can change it as per your requirement and after that you have to put your destination address here the IP that you want to connect or through which you wanted to connect the server IBMS server okay so uh, for this series, we will be uh, only using the POP400 server that is a free server or free IBMIS environment. So we will uh, just put uh, directly that server address here. So we will put POP400.com. Okay. So after that, uh, the destination port will be the same 23 protocol. Other thing will be the same. We what we can change uh, just change this screen size to the maximum and just click on ok so once you click on that ok you will see this kind of interface okay so now we can see that the system is uh, referring the destination address as pop 400 and now it is asking us for user id and password so uh, to access this as 400 system we uh, need this user id and password so as of now we are using this free public domain that is pub, uh, pub400.com so uh, what uh, it will provide us the user id and password so for that we have to sign up on this portal so uh, now we will see like how we can get these id and password so just go to the chrome and on chrome you have to search for the pub400.com for now i'm just cancelling it okay so uh, you have to just uh, go to this uh, pub400.com where uh, it is a free ibmi public server uh, that allows us to use the ibmi 7.4 version so what you need to do is here you have to create your account so just click on this sign up once you click on sign up you will see this uh, screen where we can request for a new user profile so you have to just put your basic information like your first name last name your email address and you have to uh, reconfirm your email address and after that you have to select your one ibm i username so this will be unique for everyone like for me it's a uh, shermit or it will be uh, you have you can put any uh, info, uh, any name or any username that uh, if it is available it will show otherwise it will suggest some other name after this you have to just select this yes and that yes you are agree and all these conditions and just press submit so once you uh, fill and submit these information then it will provide you uh, some uh, access to this uh, IBMS server and it will send you one mail and after you configure your uh, or your you configure your mail address or verify your mail address then it will uh, send you the your user details and or and the passwords okay so your uh, user ID and password will be sent over your mail with three uh, libraries three or two libraries that you can use for the development so it will uh, it will not allow as it is a free public uh, server so it will not allow you to create new user id uh, new library so it will just give us two or three library that we can use for the development okay and 
one more thing uh, you can find the information on this uh, screen here it is showing us you can create your own user you have 300 mb of disk storage and two private libraries so uh, right now it is uh, providing us only the two libraries and we can store uh, up to 300 mb data in our screen and we can run these uh, language program like cl rpg cobol okay and you can also create your project so these are the basic uh, information they are uh, providing to us so here it is showing that anyone can create a user profile do not create multiple accounts so these are the terms and condition of this uh, ibm server that is pub 400 so to get these details you have to just fill out this form and once you fill it out it will send you one mail and you have to verify your email address and then it will send you the email the user id and the password okay so once you got your email id and password then you can just directly go to this new display session your server destination address you can put here that is pub400.com and just change this screen size okay so here uh, you will get uh, get this screen so for now i am putting my user id and password here that is shermit and my password and just click on ok so as soon as you click on ok you will reach to the next screen where again it will ask us for the password and id so here we have to put our username and password so it's my username and i'm putting my password okay so there once we click on this then we will reach to this kind of uh, this system that is provided by the pub 400 okay so from here we can directly use our work member pdm command and other all we can create our files and we can create our programs so this is the interface uh, that we will use for uh, creating our programs and so uh, other projects so uh, you can also save this session so just click on this save as and you can save it as with any name so for now i'm saving it as a test dev box just save so next time uh, i don't need to uh, go and configure this 5250 session ma manager again and again now next time i will just uh, just directly click on this and then it will ask me for the user id and password so the uh, configuration part we just need to do one time and once we save that session then we will not require to put our id uh, put the session or per 400 our destination address and other and screen size we will just save that session and then as per our requirement we can directly use this icon to access the system so yeah that's all for this session in the next session we will discuss uh, about more of these things so thank you for watching texture